Hello friends, my name is Ritu Sachdev and today here in this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can give some cool effects to our social icons in our website by applying very simple CSS3 properties to it. Friends, before we start, let me show you a final output. See here, I have social icons and when I hover on them, they increase their size and gets brighter. So now let me show you up my local folder. See here I have images of social icon and an HTML document on which we are going to work. Now here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamware CS6. You can use any code editor software. I am here with some of my very basic CSS. Say I have a div with the ID of wrapper and width I have specified is 100%. Now let's get started. Let me have div ID say social icons. Let me close this div. Now, let's have our social icon images inside it. Say YouTube. Let me apply class to it. Say trans. We will define that class in a moment. Now let me just copy and paste it up several times. Just let me replace the images. Say Facebook, now the third image. Let me have this Twitter fourth image. Let me have this LinkedIn and fifth image. Let me have this blogger. You can also provide link to it. Say, let me have hash for now. I am giving link on the first one only. Similarly, you can have it on rest of the icons also. Now, let's save up this much and let's preview. See, we have now our social icons. Let's have some CSS tools for it. Now, let me go to head section. Div. Social. Save. Width. Let me have this 250 pixels. Height. Let me have this 40 pixels. Margin. Right. Let me have this auto. Margin. Left. Again, let me have it auto. Right now I want to have it in center. That's why I'm applying margin left and right auto. Instead you can have float right as generally social icons are on the right side of web page. Let me save up this much and show you up the preview. Let me refresh. See, I have my social icons in center now. Rather, you can make it float 
right. Let me reload. See, you have them in right side of your document. And let me again make it in the center. Now we have to give rules to a class we have applied to our social icons, say trans. And let's have CSS rule for this trans class. dot trans as it's a class so I'm using dot let me have margin 4 pixels as the icons are very tight to each other so I want to have little bit margin on them opacity let me have is 0.5 Let's save up. Let me reload. See now, they have reduced their opacity to 0 0.5. As I have given opacity to them, it's a CSS3 property. So now, they are little faded. Now, let's have class dot trans hover. That is pseudo class. Now, when I hover, I want, I want my images to increase their size by 1.8 scale. It's a CSS3 property, 2D transform. If you want to learn in detail 2D transform property, you can watch my tutorial. I have already on it. Now let me have necessary prefix, say webkit for Chrome and Safari. Let me just copy and paste it up. Say we have for Mozilla also. Let's copy and paste it up again. Now when we hover on them, I want opacity to be 1. That is, I want them again to be brightened. Let's save up. Let's reload. See now, when I hover them, they increase their size and brighten up and gets back to their natural look. So this is done friends and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me, do subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.